why there is this our product uh, Sovelia CAD Addict? Well, mm, uh, here you can see the end result that we are aiming quite often. So we need it. We, we need a product structure in Sovelia where we have, as I said, a structure for our product or our project. And then uh, we have all the uh, needed information that the designer uh, has created, like drawings and uh, and DXF files for for laser cutting and things like that. So uh, those are the things that we need here in in our P PLM system to create the product. And uh, this is something that has been designed in CAD. So this structure, what you are seeing here, so this is a pedal system for a racing car. Uh, you can see that there is a frame and throttle pedal and brake pedal and so on. So this structure is originated from CAD system. Uh, I'm talking about Autodesk Inventor at the moment. And uh, this structure is uh, or was established to Sovelia through the CAD edit. So here I have the corresponding 3D model. And uh, the main idea is that uh, there is no there is no lots of things that the designer needs to do to create new items and new drawings and and uh, the XF files and so on to Sovelia because the CAD add-in is the tool that uh, does really much automatically uh, for the designer. So uh, the designer can focus on his real stuff designing the things and the data is uh, flowing automatically to PLM system through the CAD data. So if you want to have this kind of structure, uh, what you have designed with the inventor to Sovelia, so what you need to do. So uh, let's take a look at the basics. So, uh, so what we are adding to uh, the CAD system, uh, in this case Autodesk Inventor, uh, the very same kind of uh, integration is available to AutoCAD. So we have same kind of Sovelia tab in AutoCAD. And this tab includes uh, uh, these kind of tools that we are adding here uh, to make the CAD system work with, with Sovelia. So we have one really important a portion here, which is the property management. I will go there really shortly. And then we have basically the Sovelia operations. So these are the two main things that are, uh, you know, uh, driving the uh, automatic uh, things between the CAD system and Sovelia. And then we have some nice bonus tools for the designer to, uh, to help them in their daily job. But the basics are here. So I have a part here. So this is something that the designer does every day. And as you can see, I can uh, show you the eye properties. The part is not saved yet. So this is a newly created part. And now when the designer is uh, clicking save for the first time, the initial save for the part or assembly or drawing, uh, the property card, which is one part of the property handling of Sovelia CAD add-in pops up. So this is an optional feature. So you can control that uh, does the property card pop up or not. And you can open the property card whenever you want. So if you know that, yes, this is going to be an item in Sovelia, you can use the property card immediately. Or if, if you are doing, you know, some kind of prototyping or sketching, uh, you are in, uh, you are inviting something new, and you don't know if this is going to be uh, something that is going to get to a production phase. You can just just do prototyping, and then when you when you feel that well, this is quite good, maybe we should create this kind of part or assembly and so on. Then you can use the property card to create the item to Sovelia. So now I'm going to create an item to Sovelia. So I'm going to uh, click that create an item. I'm going to select the classification. This is going to be own design item and it's going to be a plate. Name, name is coming from the dictionary. This is going to be shield and it's there and you can see that at the moment I have Finnish and English uh, active in my dic dictionary. 
description, by the way, from here you can see that which uh, field is mandatory. So uh, mandatory fields are displayed as bold. So uh, you are not able to save your part before uh, all the necessary information is filled. Uh, for in this configuration, which is by the way the basic configuration, uh, which I forgot to say to you that everything you are going to see today are included in the basic configuration. So there is no any additional configuration made to uh, this system. So basically, uh, if uh, we install the CAD add-in for you today, this is exactly how it works. So description, you can type something or you can uh, use uh, automatic description. And this automatic description is quite a uh, powerful tool because it uses our measuring technology. So uh, basically what it means is that, so if I'm selecting here that uh, please measure this uh, part as a plate. And now if I hit apply, it will measure the part. So, uh, you know, it is not, uh, reading any eye properties and so on. We are actually doing physical measuring for the part, so it doesn't need to be in the uh, model space in X, Y or Z, Z direction. It can be in, in, in any position and in any angle, and we are still able to measure it. And of course, what this does, this reduce errors. Uh, how often you have took a part and you have copied it uh, to use it somewhere else, but you need to change the bit. Then you have changed the geometry, uh, added 20 millimeters there and, uh, and removed 50 millimeters from there. And then you have forgot to, up, uh, to update the description if it's manual. So then uh, when you are creating a drawing out from that part, uh, your description says, uh, different than what your drawing view says. And of course, there is a huge, uh, huge possibility to make a really expensive error of them. So that's why this is something really exciting in the CAD add-in. So we have lots of different ways to measure the part, that how it is going to be measured. Of course, the property card is fully configurable, so uh, it will be configured uh, to your needs. We can use different kind of groups, so we can keep the um, you know the look and feel really clear, and uh, and uh, it's really heavily modifiable. So you can basically do uh, any kind of pro property card you want, and of course. Uh, the property card can be different. Uh, uh, it's depending on the inventor file type, so it can be different between the part file, between assembly files or, or drawing files. And uh, the look and feel or the, or the fields that are mandatory and, and which are uh, visible here can be, uh, you know, the classification related. So basically, uh, the information fields or the property card fields of a part you are going to buy are much different uh, when comparing to a property card of, 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 a, of a part that you are going to manufacture by yourself. Uh, what we are also going to, or what were, we are also able to do with the property card is to create the raw material relation. So. Uh, already in the CAD system, the designer can tell that this uh, plate is going to be made from two millimeter uh, plate that we have in our warehouse. And uh, this part is going to consume that uh, plate 0 0.2 square meters and so. And also we are able to search for a surface treatment object. So we are able to tell for this uh, to this item. Now it is already itemized by the way, it has an ID there. So we are able to tell that this is going to be, uh, for example, uh, sandblasted before, and then we are going to make some primer painting and then the uh, actual painting for the part. But basically now it took five minutes uh, from me to 
tell you what to do with the property card. But basically, how to create an item to Sovelia is to uh, hit create item, select the uh, item class for the for the part. Then name from dictionary. That's something you need to select. Uh, uh, that's something you are not able to write anything to. Uh, automatic description or uh, or manual description. This is for demo. Then we have, uh, of course, different kind of drop down menus and so on, which you can use and and write or write just the typical uh, text fields and, and radio buttons. So you are able to have this as a spare part. And then when I hit OK, there is already an item created to Sovelia. You are able to use name from Sovelia or you are able to use file names by your own. This is a shield plate. So. Uh, what is important here is that we are not uh, file name related, so so the file name doesn't need to be the same than the item name. So if you have descriptive names for parts, you can use those as you as you wish. Uh, here we have our property grid, which I'm going to demonstrate to you a bit later. But for example, from here, I can see that this item is already created in Sovelia by using the property card. It is here. Now, uh, how to proceed? Well, now the designer, uh, for example, maybe he's doing some corner campers, uh, for example, uh, here and here and here and here and OK. And this is a really simple plate. So now the designer decides that he's ready. So what he is going to do? He's going to use the Sovelia operations. He's going to use promote. The first date when the item was created is created. And uh, maybe when we are working in a larger project where we have multiple parts we need to design and so on, uh, we promote to this. Uh, it's not said, sorry. We are going to inform people in our company that OK, we are now designing this uh, this item. Uh, of course, in the property card, we have option that where we are able to, you know, connect to an existing item in Sovelia. For example, the guy uh, or girl who has purchased a cylinder, he has filled uh, or, or the, the buyer has filled the information to Sovelia uh, and the item is existing in, in Sovelia. Then the designer goes to a cylinder manufacturer site and downloads the 3D model uh, from the site. And then the designer is able to connect to an existing uh, item in Sovelia. And, uh, and very often on that phase, uh, they are changing the, uh, the status of the item that the, the purchaser was uh, uh, telling that uh, this is now created and when the designer uh, added the 3D model for the for the item, uh, the status is changed to in design. And when the designer is ready, the designer is going to tell that, well, I'm going to move my item, my part to a design ready state. And what has happened now? <clears throat> all the all the things that we are doing, uh, sending some secondary files and so on, are do are are done locally. So uh, if uh, we have customers here uh, who are using our uh, our. Uh, CAD integration co called uh, iVault. So there we are doing this uh, promoting and releasing and things like this in, in, in the Vault environment. So the designer needs to go to Vault and from Vault doing the releasing and things like that, changing the status. And then uh, what happens? And then what, what happens is that uh, uh, 
Uh, the vault job processor is is doing the secondary files and so on. But what we are doing in the, with the new CAD add-in is that we are doing everything local. But basically, once again, it took a few minutes for me to explain and only a few seconds to click the button. So what I did, uh, I have used the property card to fill the information. And then I have used promote tool to uh, to promote the status of the item and now as i am a designer i'm not able to promote no more because uh, the design ready is the highest state by default the designer is able to promote his uh, or her design but in Sovelia, if i go in Sovelia, i can see that well uh, now we have a thumbnail here you can see there's a thumbnail uh, we have two secondary files and what we have here we have dwf and that's the uh, free view you are able to this is 3d viewable you are able to view with uh, Autodesk design review you are able to do measurements and so on so that's uh, that uh, is one file we are sending one secondary file we are sending uh, to Sovelia by default it took some time to open. I don't know why it's here. So there is a 3D viewable file. And also because this was a sheet metal part and it had a flat pattern, we automatically send a DXF file uh, from, the, from this file to Sovelia. So what this means is that we don't need to create any separate 2D drawings uh, from flat patterns anymore because the flat pattern DXF uh, of the flat pattern is uh, automatically sent from the 3D model. Well, how about the drawing? And uh, by the way, what else happened? If you are using Vault, uh, uh, I think, uh, and I hope you noticed that I haven't used Vault. I haven't uh, clicked uh, check in or check out or change state, not even once. But what has happened automatically in the background, the field is, uh, the shield plate is vaulted and it is released. So our CAD integration, uh, it is possible to drive vault with our CAD integration. So when I did the first promote, I promoted that uh, this file uh, is now uh, changed from from uh, created to InDesign. Uh, it checked in. It was checked into Vault automatically. And then when I told that uh, the status is uh, design ready, so I promoted my model to design ready. Uh, the CAD add-in uh, released the file in the Vault. So. Uh, this means that now uh, we are kind of, you know, protecting the file from changes here on the CAD side. So uh, now I now it is really hard for the designer to to change the file uh, outside the outside the system. And of course, this is optional. So we don't need to use Vault if you don't want to. Uh, that's something we are recommending. Uh, if you are that we are recommending that you are using Vault, but you don't have to. Um, and if you are not using commercial Vault, if you are using a basic Vault, then of course we are not able to release the files or lock them because uh, this is not available in in basic Vault. But we are able to, you know, check in and check out the files. Uh, to Vault uh, with the CAD add-in if you are using Vault Basic. Quite often we need a drawing out from this, so I'm going to create a new drawing. And uh, once again, it's uh, all the same on what phase you are creating the drawing. How you are, are you doing it simultaneously uh, when you are doing the model or however you want to do? You all know how CAD systems work, so I am not going to. Uh, I am not going to uh, demonstrate you CAD. I just created drawing. Uh, I just need to one put one or two dimensions there, so it 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 even looks like a bit 
That's a drawing. And once again, when I'm saving, the property card pops up and I'm going to create a new drawing to Sovelia. And this is sealed and I'm going to hit OK. And now I have new drawing in Sovelia. And I can tell you that this is sealed plate or I can use the automatic naming from Sovelia. And now, uh, same story for the drawing. The drawing is on created state. And by the way, you can see the model here uh, in the property grid, uh, which we are going to have a, a closer look a uh, little bit later. But now what I'm able to do, I'm able to do, for example, the promoting for multiple multiple files uh, at the same run here uh, from, the, from the property grid. And I'm going to tell that, OK, that was in design, and then I'm going to promote it to design ready, change state. And once again, lots of things happens in the background automatically. So what has happened? Let's take a look at the drawing in Sovelia. The drawing is here. You can see that uh, it's here. At the moment, uh, I have only PDF export on. So the PDF is the only secondary file I am sending uh, to Sovelia automatically. Uh, but uh, you can use AutoCAD DWG, you can use Inventor DWG, you can use DXF. So, uh, but at the moment I have only PDF publishing on. And you can see that the PDF is automatically uh, published to Sovelia. So the designer doesn't need to do any PDF files or AutoCAD DWG files out from these drawings because we are able to create those automatically and send those to Sovelia. So that's the basic workflow for the single parts and and when you have your single uh, you know drawing. But then of course we have assemblies and so on. So if I'm going to take a look at this assembly I have here and I have my property grid open here and then one of really important things uh, in in Sovelia CAD adding is that we are respecting bill of materials, the structured structured bill of materials. Uh, uh, from inventor. So the structure we have here is the structure we are going to send to Sovelia. Uh, even with the virtual parts. So we have also uh, support for virtual parts. So what I have done here is that uh, I have created virtual part and uh, our property card also works with virtual parts. So if you want to add glue oil or some liquid or or something that uh, it's not worth to create a 3 model 3d model out from uh, you can you can use virtual parts and so on and now one of the new features in sovelia cad adding is that uh, when you hit send bomb the preview that what is sent to sovelia is much better than it used to be uh, in the past. So here you can see the quantities that what it is going to go to Sovelia uh, from, from this inventor structure. And as I said, we are really respecting the inventor structure. So let me give you um, some proof of that. So here I have an item called cradle and now if i hit send bomb take a look at this it says that we are going to send sovelia totally 205 uh, 2590 millimeters uh, of this uh, steel structure i have here 50 times 50 uh rectangular tube because we are also respecting the units uh, in uh, of inventor 
And as you know, if you are uh, importing a structural shape from invent, uh, from content center to inventor, the default unit is millimeters. So now we are reporting millimeters to, to Sobelia. And now we can see that we have only one row uh, because it's there. And let's go and have a look at it. Now we have only one row in Sovelio. Uh, you can see that 200, 2590 millimeters. But if I go back to Inventor and I'm manipulating Inventor bomb, so I'm going to take bomb here uh, and I'm going to take off the uh, part number merge. I'm going to hit OK. So now the parts are not merged, although they have the same part number. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to save. And now if I'm going to hit send bomb, you can see that what happens. The bomb is totally different. Uh, we are going to send all the rows from the bomb, bomb to Sovelia. And now we're going to hit send. And once again, if I go back to Sovelia and I'm going to hit upgrade, update, we can see that now it looks like this. So the total is 2,590 millimeters. And of course, uh, when I'm saying that we are respecting the uh, inventor structured bomb. It means that if you have their uh, phantom phantom assemblies or you have reference assemblies or if you have purchased assemblies and so on, uh, we are respecting those uh, bomb structures uh, and uh, send information to Sovelia based on that. Well, then, if we want to change something, something which is really important is revising. And we have one really, really nice new feature in 21.5 CAD integration. So here's my, here's my shield plate. And uh, now we need to revise it. Uh, OK, first I'm going to go to Sovelia. And uh, let's do it like it is usually. So I'm an administrator. I'm going to approve this to production. So now they are on production, and then uh, sometimes go, some time goes by, and then we need to revise it. So you are able to start the revision process uh, from the uh, PLM system from Sovelia if you want by clicking revise, and then. Uh, when you are revising something in, in Sovelia and then you go back to CAD system, the CAD system notices that uh, your revision is behind Sovelia revision and you are able to, you know, uh, upgrade your, update your Sovelia revision to know the, your CAD revision to match the uh, Sovelia revision by, by using the revised. But you are also able to start the revision process from here. And if I'm now going to upgrade my, no, it takes a while, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to hit a revise. And this is something that is really exciting at the moment, a new feature. So uh, in the previous versions, you needed to revise your uh, item and your drawing, your 3D model and your uh, model of the 3, uh, 3D model you needed to revise them separately. But now we are able to revise them simultaneously. So I'm going to tell that uh, we are going to, um, we are going to uh, create a new revision where is a whole added. And then in our uh, latest cat added version, we have added some great new functionality uh, to support different kind of vault configurations. And now, uh, as I was uh, telling you a bit earlier, is that the file was automatically released in vault. So it is locked and it is on release date. So now our CAD add-in tells that we need to do some uh, changes in vault. Of course, we need to change the status of the file uh, from um, 
from uh, uh, from release to work in process and we need to check it out and so on but now i'm going to tell that all that is and i'm going to tell a uh, revise and what happens you can see that the revision of the model was created and if i'm going to take a look at the drawing the drawing was revised too and of course in the drawing we have the new revision out from the model so now i'm going to go uh, no sorry that was the totally wrong drawing that's the drawing here and you can see that we have new drawing revision revision number two which represents the item revision two and now the progress goes uh, just uh, like it went before so i'm going to go to for the model and i'm going to just hit that create a hole over here there now the hole is added i'm going to save the file and i'm going to go to a drawing which is here and of course then i'm going to add the measurements that where is that hole located and so on and then what i'm able to do i'm able to do this for the part and for the drawing simultaneously i'm going to promote those both and then this already. it's sending the secondary files to Sovelia, so it takes some time and once again they are in design ready um, released in vault and if i'm going to take a look at drawing in Sovelia, the drawing is there and of course if i'm taking a look the parent. Now we have the 3D viewable file here. Then we have the DXF file for the laser cutting here. And of course, we have the drawing, the latest drawing with the revision two drawings here. So, what I'm trying to tell here is that the CAD add in is designed uh, to, uh, to uh, you know, to work like that, that the designer doesn't need to leave from the CAD system because the design system, inventor in this case, is the tool that the designer is using. This is where the designer wants to, to, to stay. Uh, the designer maybe does not want to go to vault and so on. Uh, the designer doesn't want to go so early all the time. So. That's why all the important features here are uh, included in the CAD system. For example, if you need to copy something, and for example, uh, I have my, well, I have my seal pad this here, and I need almost the same. So I am not able to revise because the change is so big. I need to create a new item out from this. Uh, one of the uh, nice features we are introducing with the CAD add-in is the clone component. So I'm able to clone this shield plate and uh, this is also triggered if I click here file and save as. So the CAD add-in uh, realizes that okay this is an item and it is existing in Sovelia. So when you are doing inventor uh, save as it says that well now you are copying the model would you like to copy the item in Sovelia too? And also there is this button that please clone the drawings too. So now I'm going to take a, a copy. I'm going to tell that this is white shield plate and uh, new ID for the drawing from Sovelia and so on and now i'm going to hit okay and what happens is that we have 
a cloned plate with new ID on created state, and we have cloned the drawing. We have copied those in Soveli, uh, in Inventor, and we have copied those in or cloned uh, in Sovelia. And of course, all the relations are, are there. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for my control flange, which is here. And I'm going to tell that this is, for example, 600 millimeters. I'm going to finish the sketch. And of course, the drawing is updated here. You can see that the description is not upgraded yet, but uh, it is going to be uh, updated automatically when doing promoting. Or we have different kind of tools like, uh, you know, update properties. So uh, which you are, if, if you have an assembly and you have lots of changes, some kind of skeleton based assembly, and you just like to, you know, um, measure all again and so on the description is 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 automatically descriptions are automatically mm, calculated again so this was something that really reduces errors also the these are when you are using property card uh, the calculations are made automatically so it it up, uh, updates all the measured all the measured information and then of course you already know this but now what you are able going to do you are going to promote this to design ready state and then you have uh, there was a really really easy way to to uh, copy it uh, some existing part or assembly and uh, if you are doing that on on assembly context, it means that uh, uh, if I need to, for example, clone that one, I'm able to clone it, and uh, I'm also able to clone the drawings. If it has a drawing, it seems that it doesn't have a drawing, and then I'm going to replace all they have here but actually the 25 millimeter there is only one 25 millimeter wide here and now what happens is that now it is going to now it is going to clone that part it's here you can see that it's a new item and it was also uh, replaced here You can see that it's there. So these are called productivity tools. So we are giving the uh, giving some really nice and handy tools for the designer to uh, to you know um, to make his day better. Because we know that uh, lots of uh, many of designers are doing lots of copying. So they are. Uh, they are searching for something existing and then they want to change it a little bit. And uh, how to do that to copy the model and copy the drawing at the simultaneously, uh, that's not even possible in Inventor. So we are uh, we are helping on that. And, and of course, the, the fact that we are also doing the cloning in Sovelia for the item and for the drawing on the same drawn and keeping up all the relationships and so on. That's a huge advantage that uh, that uh, that really saves time and, and reduce errors. Some other things that uh, are quite handy are for example open and place from Sovelia. Uh, this means place from Sovelia means that you are going to search something from Sovelia like this and then you are importing it to your assembly. So search from Sovelia and place from vault could be the could be the name for that button. So we were searching 
the item in Sovelia, and then we were importing the corresponding file from Vault or from your workspace if it is there, and it, that the version is same with, with the Vault version, then we are going to import that. And of course, open from Sovelia. Once again, I'm going to search, for example, for a catalog item, I don't know. And, uh, and if I want to open that, not, it's there. And something what I also want to uh, tell here is that uh, our CAD integration works full with, uh, with uh, Inventor standard parts. So take a look at this. I'm going to go, for example, here. And I'm going to place a part from Content Center, uh, although my Content Center is not. Hmm. The first demo effect. Where is my content center? What? I have no idea why it was changed from vault to local. And uh, now I'm going to select some content center part that I haven't used before. So for example, let's take that and put it here. And uh, M6, 20, 2, OK. And there is an inventor content center part. Take a look at the eye properties. Uh, it's saved to the content center file by default, and it has its part number, it has its description and so on. And of course, you are not able to modify this. If I tell there that this is the part number is 9000 and I'm going to hit OK, it says that you are not able to modify inventor library files. But with the property card, you are able to break wiki. You are able to itemize also inventor content center part. So I'm just going to tell that this is, for example, catalog item. This is a screw. And uh, the description is uh, M6, 22, standard. In 84. You are able to have this as a spare part and so on. And then I'm just going to hit OK. And voila. It is. I'll just open it. It is itemized. And then just like a basic inventor part, you are going to do the promoting. And of course, how it works is uh, that now when you are using the same part again, so if I'm going to create a new assembly here, and then I'm going to place from the content center, it was that, and it was M6 times 22, was it? No, it wasn't. M6 times 22. Yes, it is. It's there. So it's the itemized component. The property grid is really handy mm, when working with large assemblies. For example, just the basic uh, basics so of course it's fully uh, customizable so what fields uh, you want to display here you are able to display uh, columns from Sovelia or columns from Inventor so you are able to display Sovelia properties or Inventor properties you are able to do some filtering uh, for example I want to find 
all the uh, female rods uh, made by SKF uh, size M8 in my in my assembly. So what I'm going to do, I'm able to uh, use any of the columns as a filter. First, I'm going to filter with the name. I'm going to, uh, I want to find female rods. They are here. And then I want to filter with the SKF M8. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, find them from the model. And there is only one of those here. So oh, it is really fast to find. For example, you have a huge project with thousands of files and you want to find from the model all the models that are created by you that are in design state or in creative state. And within a few seconds, you're able to filter out everything else out from your inventory screen. So you can really see that uh, which are the parts and assemblies I am working with at the moment, and I'm not ready with those yet. Mm, multi operations. Uh, I'm going to stop soon. But for example, this uh, cradle I had here, uh, all these parts were were uh, inserted to Sovelia in one run. So basically what you can do is that you select all the parts and you hit Sovelia and use our multi-edit functions. So with the multi-edit functions, you are able to add, for example, multiple parts uh, to Sovelia in one run. And this is what has uh, happened here. Uh, this is already re released, so I am not able to to change anything, but but for example, if I want to change the standard, uh, I'm going to write something here, and then I have options here that copy this value to all empty val uh, to all the empty rows or to all rows and so on. And uh, if we are going to do some major change, we have run calculations here, which are you know. Uh, uh, calculating or all the measurements and so on. So, uh, so if 25 parts, the size of 10 of 25 part is changed on one run because uh, a change on a skeleton model, we are able to upgrade them all on the same run by using the grid and using the using the multi edit functions. So. Our CAD add-in, what it does, you know, it ties really tightly Inventor and Sovelia together on a way where the designer doesn't need to leave from the CAD system. Uh, he's doing his daily job. Uh, what the designer needs to do is use the property card or property grid to fill the properties and then the designer needs to use the statuses to automatically uh, drive Sovelia, uh, you know, to, uh, to automatically drive the secondary file uh, sending to Sovelia, uh, PDFs, DWGs, uh, DWFs, and so on. And then, if needed, using revising and other Sovelia operations.